Hey guys, it's Gage from the Empire Lug YouTube channel, and I'm here with a set review of set 75312, also known as Boba Fett's Starship. This set retails for $49.99 in the US, and includes 592 pieces. As you guys can see from the back side, this set includes two minifigures, a small ladder speeder bike looking thing that is used to hold up the ship when you're displaying it. We can also see the play features at the bottom, and we can also see the Slave 1 in landing position. As we take a look at this set and the box that it came in, we can see that it is a very detailed box and has a lot of cool things to offer. And one final thing, thank you so much to LEGO for sending us this set to review. It's been an honor to review it and I'm glad I was given the opportunity. So again, thank you for sending it for free LEGO and enjoy the rest of the video guys. Now let's crack open this set and build it up so we can get a more in-depth look at the set. With the set all complete, now we can take a look at the two minifigures included in this set, Mando and Boba. The first minifigure I'd like to take a look at is Mando. Mando comes with a blaster and his spike, the spike being a metallic silver color matching his helmet. Now the Mando is the same as on the Tatooine set released earlier this year, even with the printed arms still. Looks like a really solid minifigure overall, Nice back printing, and overall a very solid minifigure and a good inclusion in this set. The next figure we have to review is the Boba Fett figure. Boba Fett figure comes with some amazing arm printing as you can see here and here, along with a nice set of printing all over the torso and the legs. However, the helmet doesn't really match this figure. The figure should be more dark green, but they use the sand green helmet, which I don't really enjoy that. I wish they would have made it all dark green to match, but it's what we got, so can't complain too much. Now below the helmet, you can see it's the, his new head. You can see a bunch of scarring on the head, and even on the back, which is really nice detail, and I'm really glad they include that. Overall, it's a very nice figure, and we'll just put the helmet back on, give you one more final look, and yeah, I believe this is probably the best figure, and the reason most people want to get this set. It is an exclusive as of this time, so definitely make sure to get this set, because this is a great figure. Now it's time to take a look at the set itself. The first thing you'll probably notice is it's a very small set, because if we grab a minifigure and place it next to it, you can just tell that it's pretty small compared to the 20th anniversary one. We'll be doing a quick comparison later on, just to give you a size reference. Now, there's a couple play features. As you can see, there's a stud shooters on the side that go like that. Pretty basic. The guns rotate up and down, and also side to side, which that shouldn't be a thing. Oops, and I broke it. But it shouldn't be a thing in universe, but it is just a play feature of the set nonetheless. Um, the next thing we have are these things that rotate around a little bit. Uh, when you bring it into land, these rotate down, so they're up like this. Then when you lay it like that, it lands. The next part I would like to take a look at is the cockpit piece. Um, it's just a standard cockpit piece. You can lift it up, put your minifigure in there, and it gives you a little control panel. Pretty cool. Um, otherwise, there's just some details detailing on the side. This is a really cool piece, that dark orange piece that was used. But overall, it's a really cool set. It's just very small. But for the $50 price range, it's not a terrible buy. The also, one part I don't en completely enjoy, the amount of stickers on the front. I just wish that there was a different way to do this part, maybe just with some more slopes instead of just stickers, but overall it still gives a nice look to the set. Now very quickly, you can see this little speeder thing with the ladder that holds the Slave 1 up. Um, just a nice little add-on and a nice way to display the Slave 1. Um, but yeah, it, there's not really much to it. You can put a minifigure right there, but other than that, Nice little build, and it's a nice little display piece for it. So overall, I love this set. It's a really nice play scale set. 
comes with two great minifigures. I wish there was like a third or a fourth minifigure just because it was a $50 set, but I think it's still great value because those two minifigures we do get are fantastic value minifigures because of the arm printing and just all the extra printing. And this set has a lot of nice little play features. It's a good scale. It has great detail. It's just overall a really well-built set. Um, the only other negatives are just the minifigures. Sometimes the size in some places looks a little strange, like the front of it. And just the, uh, the stability of it. It's really easy just to poke it and it just falls right over. But it's not really meant to be played with on the stand. You should take it off and play with it. So it's not a huge problem. However, again, really great set. Would definitely recommend picking this up day one even. You'll definitely want to get your hands on that Boba Fett minifigure. So guys, that's it for the review. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much to LEGO for sending me this set out to review. I really appreciate the opportunity to review this set. Make sure you guys pick this set up sometime in the future, and thank you guys for watching this video on the Empire Leg channel. Make sure to check out some other videos we have posted, and I will catch you guys in the next video.